T-Mobile CEO Mike Sievert joins us now for an exclusive interview. Mike, very good afternoon to you. Thanks for joining us. Of course, it's great to be here. And, and, and this is a, is, a, is a great surprise late addition to the show. And uh, I have to ask, uh, were, were you a, a little envious that we had uh, earlier on our air Verizon CEO uh, outlining why he thinks he's got the best 5G network? It, was that the reason? Well, we're, no, we're just celebrating here at T-Mobile today. You know, this is just a huge day for our company and for our industry. You know, we've been all in this industry, you know, Hans included, talking for years about the 5G era. And to be honest, consumers haven't been paying attention to that. It's all been carriers talking about it. But today changes things. Now we have the entire lineup of devices. And so starting today, it really matters to consumers who's ahead in the 5G race. And I'm just here to tell you emphatically, one company is ahead in the 5G race, and it's T-Mobile. <laughs> well, I, I think you've slightly answered my question in a roundabout way there, either way, Mike. And, and w what is the coverage today of 5G, uh, w which will really make use of the type of technology that is in this new iPhone? Is, is it 100% yet? No. Well, nearly so. You know, here at T-Mobile, we were the first to be nationwide with 5G. We cover 260 million people with 5G. And by the way, the mid-band 5G, which is what, what's really transformational, where people get hundreds of megabits per second, just crazy speed, so much faster than LTE. We've got that covered now for 25 million people on our way to 100 million people by the end of this year. So we're building like crazy the transformative experience that really will change how people use their phones over the next decade. CNET has a good piece, Mike, on the price differential. It looks like if you, if you go via Apple's website to try to buy the phone, it's different prices based on which carrier you have. And, and T-Mobile, it looks like, is the most expensive when it comes to the listing. Uh, it looks like yeah, $829 you... for T-Mobile and Sprint versus $799 for AT&T and Verizon. What's that about? Well, a couple of things. First of all, they don't have our promotions loaded yet. Uh, when you go to the T-Mobile site, you'll see that we have by far the best deal in the market. Do you know you can get two lines with T-Mobile for $100 a month with your iPhone 12 included? By the way, the other guys charge $120 a month just for the rate plan before you ever start talking about paying $799 or $829 for the phone. So you got to look at the big picture. And of course, you have to understand the launch promotions. We're, we're aggressive. Uh, we're 40% less than the other guys. And there's a reason for that. We're showcasing that today is the firing gun on 5G. And only one company has the 5G strategy that's in low band, in mid band, and in millimeter wave. You know, Verizon talked today about millimeter wave for a reason. They're talking up their book. It's all they've got. They don't have a mid-band strategy. Who knows what they're going to have to do to get a mid-band strategy. But I think they know that's where the real 5G game will be played over the next decade. And by the way, Wall Street agrees that they were talking their book because while Hans was on stage at the Apple event today, their stock went down. So did AT&T's. They both finished down. We hit an all-time high today based on the Apple news. So, so Mike, uh, all this ag aggressive pricing strategy and competition, what's it going to do to your margins? Well, we're on our way towards margin expansion. As you know, what makes us different than AT&T and Verizon is that we're executing a plan that's all based on synergies. And, you know, we have massive synergies to unlock in this business that will send our margins north over the next several years. And investors, I think, have now started to really understand our journey. You know, we've telegraphed to investors. We see margins in the mid 50s in the long term. We see revenue kagers in the two to four percent range. And we're executing maybe, if anything, ahead of plan, bigger on synergies and potentially faster on synergies than we originally anticipated when we announced the merger. Mike, you said at the top that, that you guys, the carriers, have been talking about 5G for a while now, but for consumers, not as much. Is this a must-have thing for consumers to have 5G right now, and, and why? Well, it will be. You know, so many things are happening in hardware and software innovation. And the question is going to be, innovators, as they bring about new solutions, will they bring about new solutions that depend on only one flavor of 5G, which, for example, in Verizon's case, is available to less than 1% of Americans, maybe 4 million pops if in total. Um, that's obviously, you know, not something that hardware and software innovators will center around. They're going to center around solutions that are available everywhere. Our mid-band strategy will be bringing 5G to everyone. And what that means is you're going to see so many cool applications that require 5G 
that you'll be able to use nearly everywhere with T-Mobile's strategy as opposed to what you see with our competitors. But to answer your question, yeah, it's here now. It's finally here. And it's very analogous to the beginning of the 4G era in 2010. And none of us could have predicted what would happen in the 4G era. We thought, I actually thought it would be about loading pictures faster on picture phones. But of course, what we saw was a complete transformation of our mobile and digital lifestyles. That same opportunity is in front of us now with 5G. And today marks really, in many respects, day one. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.